Hey you guys, it's Raya from Raya's Tie-Dye, and a while ago, I promised some socks. So, we're doing that today! Whee! So they are Under Armour socks, and I have three pair, and I planned out some pretty cool designs and colors. Um, the colors I'm using are from Dharma, which is in the description box below if you want to check those guys out. And... I have been having a lot of people ask me where I get a lot of my stuff that I use. I literally use everything from Amazon. I like to buy from Amazon because it's super easy and they bring it right to your door. So everything that I use in my videos, I have links in the description box below, literally everything. My cameras, my lights, my bottles, my soda ash, my buckets, all that stuff everything literally so check all of those links out if you go and click that link it'll take you right to it and then you can add it to your cart or buy it now if you want to so check all those out get everything you need so you can tie dye with me socks under armor socks woo woo so we have three pair like i said awesome colors and we're gonna get started all right, you guys, so we got three pairs of Under Armour socks. They are quite thick, so then your socks will probably ab absorb a lot of dye. So just don't do, I will, don't recommend doing one color is basically what I was gonna say. Um, because if you do one color and you try to do a scrunch with these ones in particular, it'll probably just look like you colored your socks it really won't look as tie-dye as you would want them so i have three designs that i'm going to do and i'll just show you one on each sock and then i will tie the rest super fast and then we'll dye them so the first one is we are going to do a split sock so we're going to flatten this out instead of it being to the side like this. We're going to flatten it out so that the toes are flat, the heel is flat all the way up. And your Under Armour symbol should be on the back if you have the same kind of socks. And we are just going to pleat fold these all the way up. doesn't matter how thick you have them you don't want them super thick but enough that they're gonna be split up the middle and then I would just take a rubber band try to slide them on there without messing up my fold and right there this is we're also going to use the rubber band as a guide so you want to try to make sure it's even on both sides so there is our first design so with this one it's going to be one color on one side one on the other and i have picked out bright yellow and lime pop green for this pair then our next design is a scrunch and I'm going to leave these to the side just like this so I am just taking it from the center and scrunching them in but before I do that I'm going to have rubber bands ready that way I won't have to worry about my scrunch coming undone and I can just start putting rubber bands on there so um, I have two colors picked out for my scrunch and what it's going to do is they're going to highlight each other. So once I have the scrunch done, I'll tell you what colors I have and then you can pick your own colors and do the same. I am literally just grabbing all the fabric and pulling it all into each other from the center out. You don't want it too thick, you don't want it too thin, and you want it all in a pile, basically. A flatter pile. <laughs> and that didn't come undone. 
I'm going to fix this part real quick. And rubber band those. So for my colors, I have picked some darker colors. I'm going to do teal and red violet, which is a purple. That So when I do dye these, I'm going to do teal on one side, purple on the other. That way when you open them up, it'll be mainly teal with purple coming through on one side. And then it'll be purple on this side with teal coming through. So it'll all be a scrunch look but two colors so there's that one i'm going to add one or two more rubber bands to it just to keep it together one's probably good so there's that and the last design i'm actually going to use sinew so i want white lines in these ones and i'm going to do a zigzag pattern on these so when you open them up they will they should look like diamonds. I'm actually making up this design. It's not anything I've ever found or seen anybody do, but you never know. There's somebody probably out there who's done it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my washable marker and I'm going to make zigzag lines all the way down my sock. And that should be good right there. So this is almost kind of like a tie in a mandala. So you're going to start at the end, wrap it, pull it up and wrap, keep wrapping it. Um, every line you're going to want to try to pleat fold. So we'll do our slip knot real quick. <clears throat> these to the side. All right, so I'm going to start right here at the bottom. And you're just going to want to try to do a smaller pleat fold enough to get your line that you want. So I, this is only three pleat folds, but it's good. Pull that tight. Wrap it around a couple of times so you get that nice white line when you open it up. And then go to the other side and pleat fold that. So all you're gonna do now you're gonna do this all the way up the sack. So pull the sinew up and around this line. Now you can see I'm getting my black marker all over my sock, but like I said, it's washable marker, so it's gonna come right out. So I'm gonna wrap that a couple of times, match up your sinew so that you're not getting multiple lines that you don't want. So I'll probably do twice. Pull it tight and then come around and keep doing that until you get all the way up to the top. All right, so this is our zigzag socks. 
Um, so they will be zigzag on the side, but on the front they will look like triangles. So we're just gonna cut and leave a little, leave a little guy here so we can unravel these. So that's our three pair. I'm gonna go ahead and tie the rest of these real quick and then we'll be ready to dye them. All right, you guys, so these are our Under Armour socks. Now for the scrunch, I have teal and purple. For the split socks, we're doing yellow and lime pop green. And for the zigzag socks, we have black and hot hibiscus. And I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit, like always, just so you can see what I'm doing. But this is gonna be purple on one side, teal on the other. This is gonna be yellow on one side, lime pop on the other, same on the side. And then same thing with this, it's gonna be um, every other one, so black hot hibiscus, and then keep going all the way down until you finish them. So that is the plan. So we're gonna speed this up, but you can follow along and watch me do it. All right, so all of the socks are dyed. So purple and teal, purple on one side and teal on the other for the scrunch. The split socks have yellow on the outsides and lime green on the insides. And then the zigzag socks, I just did every other one, hot hibiscus and black. I did dye it so that the toes were the same colors but it ends up not being the same at the top but i think that's going to be super cool so after you let these sit for 24 hours rinse them in the sink in cold water until the water runs clear and then when you wash them put them in there preferably by themselves don't put the whole three pairs in there or else you're going to get colors probably mixing even if you use synthropol it might not turn out that great when it comes out of the washer. So just to be safe, do them one at a time. <clears throat> and then uh, hot water with cold water rinses. And then I would let them hang dry. You can dry them in the dryer, but let them hang dry just, it takes longer, but I think it just works better. Um, so when we get to the reveal, we will open them one at a time and they're going to look super awesome. So let's get to that. So we have our Under Armour socks and I have three pair. So I'm just going to jump right in, get this going. The million rubber bands on these. These are the scrunch pattern socks with purple and teal. I can get them off. So those turned out pretty. They are teal and purple. So they kind of have a lot more teal with purple on one side and a lot more purple with teal on the other. And they have the Under Armour symbol still on there. Let me grab my other pair. So I'm just gonna do one at a, I'm just gonna do one sock because it's the same. So this is our split socks, yellow and green. They turned out super awesome. So when you wear these, actually I made the other pair so that the green go in the inside together and the yellow on the outside. All right, and then these are uh, are our zigzag socks. And the black ran on one side into this, but that's gonna look cool. So 
So this is a lot of sinew. So I just have to unravel. If you haven't already checked my links in the description below, you can find everything that I use on my channel. Uh, cameras, lights, buckets, soda ash, Synthrapol, all that stuff. Even um, the dye that I use is in there. Um, so if you can't find it on your own, go ahead and click those links. It'll take you right to it. You don't even have to look. And then if you haven't checked out my Etsy yet, I do have some things on there, some things from my videos that are up for sale. Um, unfortunately, well not really unfortunately, but unfortunately for you guys, if you did love that skull tapestry that was sold already, so that is not available. But I can always make you one if you request it. All right, zigzag sock. So we got hot hibiscus and black in there. So when you wear these, they're gonna look like, here, let me open it a little. They're gonna look like diamonds all the way down. And the cool thing is, is that the hot hibiscus is on the toe and the heel. It might not be the same thing for the other sock, but we have three super cool looking socks, Under Armour brand, and they are going to look really good on my feet. Or they might look really good on my Etsy. Haven't decided yet. So we will see, and I will let you know in the next video. Thanks for watching.